What's up, what's up, how are we all doing today? Coming to you live with another video with myself and when sailing and we're going to be doing just going over Bitcoin on higher time frame, lower time frame and see what we see and giving you all a bit of an update. When sailing, how are you doing today? Awesome man. That's good Glad to, to have you here. Nice. Good Monday everyone. How is everyone doing? That's good to hear. Good to hear. Um so look, I'm just gonna dive right into it, alright, and we can kick this off. Um, because Bitcoin has given us pretty much a nice move, all right? So, um, with that being said, um, from my last public video that we did, there's a lot that actually has happened. Let's just go over it. I always have the same exchange for these public videos and what we've done before. So, let's just recap on everything. Um, so... What we're looking at, higher time frame, we were looking for it to move. We're over here. We're looking for it to move down. There was two scenarios looking for it. We either bounce off the TR pocket and this um, volume gap in the 0.5 area. We hit the 0.5 in nearly every other exchange, um, which is this red line that's coming across. And we get a big move up to the upside, which we've gotten. Um, really nice move, which was about from the low, 61% move to the top side. So... What am I really looking at now is the next plan that we made, which was around here. Uh, we had two uh, plans, right? So those plans included, well, one was a fractal and then one was looking for a potential move to the upside, right? So as well, uh, if you remember, we had this point of interest, this red zone from back here when we were doing a video we came up we rejected off this zone fairly nicely and i had a fractal confluence but the bullish plan as well i was kind of looking at just to see in case we were going to call this bullish market structure and come up to this zone uh, this which did not happen we were looking for the pivots and then the monthly pivots and then the other scenario i was looking at was this fractal right this fractal which has played out very nicely i must say um where we came up took the highs lower high big drop down bit of a range and a bit of a move up this whole fractal has played out at this stage this point of control um and uh, monthly and the volume gap is acting as support i don't need this anymore so i'm going to get rid of this um this played out nicely but with the bullish plan as well i might use some of this because it could give us our next region right so fractal very nice but Let's go find something else, another plan that we can use for the next day we're coming up. So I must say from the bullish plan that we had, which I'm going to leave as the bullish plan, because if this comes up, I would expect um, Bitcoin to give us some sort of a reaction. All right. So if we go into yearly pivots and if you look at them all, we have loads of yearly pivots up here in this TR pocket at the moment. You can see the extension down here. We bounced off the low, and if we can get a rotation off the highs, this might be my next plausible zone that I'll be looking at um, for a reaction at the very least, or off these little pivots that we can come down, maybe a, a bit of a move up range here into the highs, and then move down. That will be the next kind of scenario for me. And I must say, I'm, I'm not just looking at the bullish scenario, even though we're hanging at the range highs here, and it looks like it's going to break up. I kind of want to look at the context of what if we don't move up, you know? So I'm going to move this into here. That is the bullish plan. Um, we do have those monthly, piv I mean, those yearly pivots up there. But one can't always just look at the bullish scenario. If you've seen, I've always had two scenarios and one has played out perfectly. So the bearish scenario for me really is yeah we're in this range everybody is long up. i mean everybody's looking for this breakout up but when i look at the order flow on most of these exchanges uh binance specifically you do have a massive amount of shorts piling in they're just shorting this range shorting this range shorting this range and it began from over here so the bullish move up does look nice and it looks like nice fuel that if it does come up but uh, if we want to actually give these shorts a bit of something because we were just in this range right now. If we want to give these shorts a bit of a move down, they'll end up piling back into their shorts even more, adding on compounding, doing everything. Um, so I, mean, I am looking at this bearish scenario. For me, bearish, but it's bullish also, is if we actually continue this range, 
and then we move down to take the range lows this for me would be the bullish case because i wouldn't really be looking for a swing failure pattern if this happened like if we came up from this range now i would be looking for a swing failure pattern down but if we did this range and came down and took the range lows i would really be looking for a deviation trade back into the highs um so i move down deviate the lows and i move back up if this happened this would be a more bullish case because it'll just have more fuel you know the short fuel would be a lot bigger and um, so i would expect a bigger move up and probably go past the pivots you know so let's just find a bit of confluence for this we have the top side already covered thanks to the other stream but let's just look at the confluence that we have for this scenario if it was going to happen um we have the tr pocket which is good but is there anything else that we can line up down here get this point of control from here to here yeah like point of control down here too and once i was looking at the kingfisher data there is a plenty plenty of liquidations down here if the price comes down here you're getting a huge amount of liquidity that's going to liquidate a lot of people so i must say we're at the range high but in this local range we're we're at the range high too um until it's that's not until it's broken you could just say it's going to continue range bound if it continues range bound i would be looking for this deviation trade down and for a potential bigger move up um into this point of control and grabbing this huge amount of liquidity which was at 23k from the last like i checked it was 23 200 to 23 800 which was 800 is about here i just want to put the numbers in because i remembered it from before i checked 23 200 23 800 was the liquidation area all right so for me this is what i'd really be looking for if this rain starts to hold and break down um i do think you'll have a nice possible trade for the back up to the upside at least to the range highs because these range highs at the moment are pretty much double top liquidity when it comes up really deep like that that's what i'd consider a double top liquidity um so yeah that's really it for me a nice little quick update for the top side and for the bottom side and let's see what happens in this range um from here i'm going to probably pass it over to when sale and he's going to give his insights on what he thinks the market's going to do so when sale how are you doing you ready to take it over man. always 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 for you guys let me quickly start where i left you off on my latest public video just to go over how it played all out and where we are here on the higher time frame and then we can dive into more local price action to see what we can expect next year with bitcoin so last public video i've done with you a few weeks ago with Duki, i think just remember we got about 10 pro traders inside the pro launch going over their ideas and sharing different insights so quite some different strategies in there and when i was here with Duki a few weeks back we were around these lows here basically i wanted to have a move up to tap the we went close, we tapped it, we got the move to the downside and we re-tapped the channel that we had here towards the middle of the channel. And from there, we got a really nice rejection to the downside. So that channel was really well respected, really well followed. And also afterwards, we came back towards the channel. We did some little consolidation here before we finally broke through. And also here at the high of the channel, again, you can see we did some light, little consolidation, broke through it, back tested it, got another bounce from it, and then lost it again, back into the middle of the channel. So really, really nice. I'll slowly now uh, get rid of this channel because you can see here, even if we're still somewhat respecting it, it gets less and less. So it was a really good channel and gave us some really nice trades overall. I also wanted to have uh, on a higher time frame perspective a chance for a retrace into the local 382 we front run that unfortunately but 
also front run the waves cluster. We've got a waves cluster down here. Let me see where that one was. Still one of the most important uh, support levels here for me on the higher time frame. So really important zone if we ever get back down here. But for now, we've done some really nice trades up at the high of this range as Trader R mentioned. So if we zoom back out here and keep it very simple, we can mark the liquidity basically that was taken here from this high. You got a really nice rejection from it on the lower time frame. You can see very well we tapped it, swing failure it, got a move to downside of about, yeah, what was it? Six, seven percent, seven percent. Also got some really nice speed of waves alerts into this high. And from there on, we came up again to the same level, and that's still a key level for me here on the higher time, and especially because, as mentioned in last video, also we got not only the high here with the liquidity, but also this week that was a perfect SR flip here on um, BTC USD. But we did not SR flip it on USDT, so really important still for higher monitoring this level here that was never as R flipped on BTC USDT 26700 basically because we flipped uh, and took the liquidity but still have a little bit higher to go here just in case we uh, reclaim the high here and want to flip 26700 so up up here at 26700 we have some other uh, levels that are very important for me on the higher time frame. Last uh, time I showed you the FIP channel on the higher time frame that really well uh, defined all the movements we had here at the local lows. Also earlier was a really nice SR zone here, a uh, lost, uh, reclaimed SR zone, SR zone is again lost. So after we've basically pumped from this low here with Quite some selling going into the low. We still have this 26,700 area here that we have on BTC USDT, basically aligning with the uh, FIP channel that I showed you on the last video here. But first, we need to get rid of some resistance here locally. So other important um, methods that I'm using are WeWebs, as you know. I use the WeWebs mostly for scalping on the lower time frame uh, to do some uh, good entries on day trades with uh, speed of waves to get alerts when markets orders are coming in aggressively and to know when the bigger players are playing ping pong basically. So really important for me, the WeWeb also on the lower time frame. If we check here, not the we uh, closest the WeWeb bands, we can see that those levels also given out to our members inside the launch previously here starting very nice very well defining the range where we've been also lost it back tested it really well um resistance and again here consolidating below it through it and i told everyone i would like to either look for trade up here or at the lower of the bands. Also here we front run it because if Bitcoin gets going, it really gets going. So we've got some really nice price action over the last few uh, weeks. Basically, you can also see how volume overall here is starting to pick up again compared to the area before where we basically had very little volume. And it's a very nice volatile environment to trade in. We get really good reactions for scalps and also do those scalp live on the sessions with uh, our members inside the pro launch so so far here we're still on this uh, resistance so far but we are creating some bullish cbd divergences so let me quickly check here how it looked like today basically higher time frame 30 minutes here with some cbd and uh, we were close as you can see that we are creating over this range here from here to here, basically some bullish CBD uh, divergences um, on the higher time frame. And I think we also had some earlier today on the lower time frame. So assuming or telling us that we still could uh, go a little bit higher before we get a nice reversal. So also here you can see the nice 
uh, Polish civilians, and they could be playing out right now. So even checking here, for example, also earlier, we got some aggressive shorts. You can see here more shorts than longs into the level. And what was the level again? It was our beloved we web close. So if we check here, for example, previous day we were close. We went into the level with some aggressive shorts here, bigger trades showing up into it, and we got an immediate bounce out of it. So really nice price action, really technical today and over the last few weeks because we got some nice volume. And I think from here, from this alert, we got 1.4% out out of itself so, so far also here for example still upholding the bullish cbd diffs on the lower time frame let's see where this one goes but you can also see if we go back to the trading view chart here and put on some other levels or the higher time frame resistance still got a daily level below us that we did not tap. We so far still have the bigger and higher time frame weekly flipped as support. But in case we're starting to lose that level, I'll be looking for a trade lower at the daily or at the liquidity here. Really important to go from level to level here and also checking what we still have untapped. So you can see here got a previous untapped we were closed flipped it also bounced from that one but we also had yesterday's we were close here so additional confidence i can take that level off now and we can check we got still some we were close and equilibriums below us really important levels always if both of them are aligning we basically get a really nice zone for a scalp trade so let me see here on yesterday's levels, basically, where did they go? Here they are. Previous day equilibrium, and uh, we were close. Yeah, also both uh, nicely aligning. Let me zoom in here a little bit. You can see how well we moved into it. But for now, the key levels. Below us, for me, on 23, 300 region. So we got a WeWeb close and a previous day equilibrium from a few days ago that we did not tap. And if we make our way down again, here we have the daily level and the liquidity that we could take here for a scalp long. So like best scenario, going down, flipping the level, taking the liquidity, and then shooting up for Oof. an entry. You I really like have to that. think what trades you want to take and you want to take the best trades only and i could never advise you to long up here basically it would just not make sense we are at range highs we're at local range highs as trader r mentioned we cannot go for a trade so the only trade up here are shorts that i would be considering or longs from lower so short play for example i could think of or would make sense is a swing failure of the highs again and then losing the level but again be aware that we are trending we're still going uh, up price is still not losing market structure and the longs are still the safer trades and the best entries are a little bit below us at 23 300 or a potential uh, short at 25 yeah, 300 400 area if we get some aggressive um, longs into the swing failure and we lose the level again. So those are the easiest trades basically because we're getting some aggressive trades into a high, we're losing the level again and then you're very easy, very simple to short them down to the next uh, key level. But that's mostly it from my side. Let me check if I still have something else. We see got some shorts here squeeze them again nothing all too crazy here on the cluster chart we printed a small cluster last week giving us a really nice rejection afterwards but so far nothing new no new aggression in the market also here still above support daily poc weekly poc previously poc 
previous day PSU, everything is still a support and also the VWAP is still below us. So really nice move on daily open today again with bigger trades with some shorts into the lows and we just pumped up from there. So definitely a nice environment we're in right now. Nice stuff, man. It was well said. Um, especially about being at the range highs, I, I do agree. The best trades, yeah. if you're going to be looking for a long, it would have to be when, if it falls down. And personally, 100%. if you're, for me, be going into a short, it would probably have to be a swing failure of some sort. Either the local range on his chart right there or take up the double top liquidity, you know. Um, but apart from that, this is probably our public update for the day. Um, if you want to see yeah, more still, of this. Still got one. Exactly. Still got one more important news for everyone because mm -hmm. it's a special week inside the pro launch. Um, we got Duki with his daily routine every day sharing a video about how he trades, how he prepares That's on right. all time frames and on all days. And there's another special video from Netso coming out this week about um, heat maps. Order heat maps, heat and maps on trading light. Yeah. Oh, that will be a crazy one. That's it for sure. So yeah, if you want to see more of that, hop over to the Pro Traders Lounge and we'll catch you on the next video, probably next week or earlier on. It'll be, we'll have another person on on Wednesday. Um, but apart from that, that's me signing off. Um, yeah, we'll same here, guys. Leave us a comment and a like eventually if you want to see more of those videos in the future and I'll uh, we'll catch you all inside the launch. Thanks that's for it, watching. Yeah. Smash that like button and <laughs> we'll see you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>